no idea. What is it? It seems to be a vase. What is it made of? Metal. What type, what's, what's on top of it to make the decoration? Enamel. Okay, so it's enamel metal. Where is it from? I'm thinking Asia. So we're Europe. hoping Asia. We're telling you, I hope it's Asia, because then it would be interesting. You know, if it's from Trenton, not so great, right? <laughs> okay, well, the piece is not from Asia. The piece is from Chicago. It's trying to look like Asia. Sorry. Value on the piece? About 10 bucks. You would have had to, like, use up all your yard sale cash. Let me tell you about yard sales. I've written 30 books over the course of my career. Don't host the yard sales, my most recent. Here's why. America's giving away the farm on the front lawn. A $425,000 painting that now hangs in the Houston Art Museum was purchased at a yard sale in California for $18. 18. In New Jersey, a $3.5 million Chippendale table sold at a yard sale for $35. Okay? And I found a $5,000 marked platinum and diamond ring at a yard sale in Pennsylvania. It had a $10 price tag on it, and when I walked it up to the yard sale host and I said, you should reprice this or bring it back in the house, she argued with me. <laughs> it's $10 fur. <laughs> I was doing my yard sale tours, right, to teach people what shouldn't be at the yard sale, and the woman standing next to me who recognized me from TV said to the yard sale host, I'll give you 20 bucks. <laughs> All of a sudden, the yard sale host went, wow, I better listen to this woman. Clearly marked flat. And many good things are, in fact, marked, like platinum pieces. Your piece is unmarked. Just because it's unmarked doesn't mean it's not valuable. It's also damaged. If it's damaged, leave it at the yard sale. 